let's go ahead and prove that the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. So how I'm going to start off by doing that is I'm going to come down. I'm just going to distribute these. So I get cosine alpha, cosine beta, plus sine alpha, sine beta, times cosine alpha, cosine beta, minus sine alpha, sine beta. And we'll multiply these together. Cosine squared theta, cosine squared beta, minus cosine alpha, sine alpha, Um, oops. And finally, so these middle terms cancel out. Yep. And we're left with cosine squared alpha, cosine squared beta, minus sine squared alpha, sine squared beta. Now this isn't quite what we need up there, but here's what we're going to do. I can rewrite this. I can rewrite this cosine beta to be 1 minus sine squared beta, which is a trig identity, minus sine squared theta. Sine squared beta. And I'm going to distribute this cosine squared theta throughout. And the trick here is both these right terms share a sine squared beta. So here's what's going to happen. Come down here, rewrite this. I'm going to pull out this sine squared beta. And I'm going to end up with cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. And this trig property simply becomes 1. And we ultimately end up with our cosine squared alpha minus our sine squared beta, which is what we're looking for in the first place. That's it.